All right, what's up, guys? Uh, 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 uh. Came in a weird part of the song. Hey, I can't really hear y'all. I'm gonna unbox this thing. I don't know what I'm doing. CK. CK? Thank you for your Twitch Prime subscription. Appreciate that very much. Very, very much. Okay. So are we live? Because I couldn't get, I'm not live on the, um, on the iPad. I'm gonna rip up these boxes over here, you know? Where's my iPad? Oh, my iPad's over here. I need my box cutters. Gotta find my box cutters. So I'm over here in the other room. Looking for my iPad. It says I have zero viewers. Gotta find my box cutters. Okay, now it works. All right, so I got some heavy duty gloves. I don't think we'll be needing those. some gloves welcome mass effectoid thank you for the eight months subs from a face thank you we'll go into the big cam over here game boards workstation we can throw these two up Box cutters, that is priority one. Here we are, Angry Joe color box cutters. Hmm, if I'm gonna go wireless, I'm gonna put this mic under my shirt so it doesn't get caught up on anything. All right. So, uh, you guys know I've been working on a board game. And, uh, I thought something that would be useful is a 3D printer. No, oh, don't go anywhere! I'll cut you! Okay. So there's some different resins and solutions that they recommend gloves. So I'll just put some gloves on. Let's see what we got in box number one. Lots of packing material, a crushed bucket. What's in the box? Though they said that this resin was uncalibrated. I don't know what the hell that means. But they said they gave me complimentary resin. If it's uncalibrated, doesn't that mean it's useless to me? Okay, moon ray finishing kit. So I think that's after we're done. And make sure there's nothing in here. But I feel like I'm missing some things. Two and a half quarts all-purpose mixing container lid. We got a sprint ray scraper. 
Man, fuck these gloves. So I guess this is, is this Sprint Ray branded? Scrape the resin. And then we got tools, 109. This is to cut some, cut some things. Cut the uh, wire frames. This is a resin wiper. Rubbery tool. And we got some Sprint Bray branded gloves, but we'll put those on when we're ready. And then a misshapen bucket. Let's give it with the lid on. Try to get it shaping correctly. Oh, I had some more subs. Sorry about that. Let me come over here, figure out who you are. So, uh, oh shit, a uh, bunch of subs to four. Zaltron, for the Angry Army, thank you very much. Three months, appreciate that. Uh, Kai9, good to see you here, man. Welcome. Uh, hey, Joe, I had a question. How often, if at all, do you play old games after they've gotten several updates? Uh, not often. Not often at all. Just because my job, I have to keep moving forward. There's always new games coming out. Vino7S, thank you for using your Prime sub with us. I appreciate that very much, supporting our independent reviews channel. Uh, variety channel, really. Ludacris101X, thank you for the 23 months. One more month that we can celebrate our two-year anniversary together. Let the good times roll. And then Helvetica Bolt, uh, the font creator. Thank you for gracing us with your presence and using your Twitch Prime sub on us. Okay, we need a ban right there. And let's do it. <clears throat> okay, so let's unbox this bad boy. This is the big one over here. Well, first, what's under these? These, I think, are uncalibrated resins. We've got gray, light-sensitive material. Always keep away from light. 3D printed resin. We got two grays. Hopefully, they're both not uncalibrated and, and, and useless to me. Because if they're both useless to me, then I will be upset. So I've, maybe I've got to send an email out to them. All right, let's do this. Was in the box. What's in the box? St. Nicholas. Thank you. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Bubble wrap. That's all it came with, y'all. It's just bubble wrap. Tons and tons of bubble wrap. Oh, shit. I don't think I'm strong enough for this. Okay, that's not gonna work. What we're gonna do instead is get a little creative. OJ is, uh, where's OJ? I'm not sure where OJ is. OJ's coming over at 6, 6.30, 6, 6 o'clock. I need OJ's muscles. Well, I'm gonna do oh, instead while I don't got OJ's muscles is I'm gonna cut up the bottom of the box and then slide it out from the bottom. Good idea? Am I a genius engineer or what? My brain is huge. 
I have a huge brain. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Let's try again. Oh, I gotta go ahead and uh, open that bad boy up. That was my first mistake. Now, here we go. Done. Easily thrown away now. Fold it up. Gonna go put this in my trash outside. Curious to see if you guys can still hear me all the way with my wireless mic. Okay, here we go outside. How's it going? Say hi to my neighbor. And who's fucking hot out here, man? Texas heat. Ain't no bueno. No bueno. Whew. Shit, I gotta get back inside with the AC. AC, AC all day. I'm gonna go turn the AC on. Or lower. Need more cold. Okay. I'm back. Did you guys hear me? Were you guys able to hear me? Sweet. Did you hear like the cars out there and stuff? <laughs> well, that's cool. All right. How do we open this bad boy up here? This is the Sprint Ray, or as they call the Moon Ray inside the box we got one moon ray desktop 3d printer we got one resin tank one resin drum hdmi cable usb cable power supply unit care kit anti-uv cover hmm yeah i'm sure unsure exactly how this is a very very expensive piece of equipment so i don't want to break it so what i'm going to do is check out the instructions instructions unbox your moon ray carefully to ensure all the required parts are included Purchasing extra gloves, paper towels. Fuck, I didn't get a mesh strainer. Free one day. Oh, I can get it tomorrow. Uh, for moving resin from the tank back into the bottle after printing in 91% or 99% rubbing alcohol. I got 91%. So we're good there. Uh, save your moon rays packaging just in case you ever need to ship your machine to us for service. Uh, find a stable and level surface. Well, shit, that piece of crap fucking fold out table. I don't, I don't know if that's particularly level. I just went to Walmart and I bought it just for the purposes of this, of this stream. All right, let's open her up. Uh. 
I assume you don't lay it flat because all the text is right here. Yeah, see? Hello? Hello! He's got some shades on. Using your new Moonray. Connect Moonray to your computer and turn it on. Insert and secure build platform and resin tank. Prepare your model using the latest version of Rayware software. Pour resin into the resin tank. Print your model and remove the supports. Maintain your Moonray so it's ready to print again. Have any questions? Sprintray.com print. Need help? Sprintray.com backslash support. So here's the instructions. Seems really super simple. There's only two pieces that I need to put in. And there's the, to the computer. All right. What is this? The uh, power cable calibration grid. This seems pretty important. Power cable. This, I assume, is how you connect it to the computer. Ethernet cable. What? Why do we need an Ethernet cable? Oh, no. Whew. Shit, we got another package on this side. Don't want that to fall. This one's much heavier. This looks to be the cleanup center, so we're gonna move the cleanup center. Heavy duty piece of metal. And smaller box has got the other part of the power unit. Do you guys hear my music? How loud is it? Is it pretty annoying? Okay, I'm gonna be real careful with this because I don't want everything to come tumbling out. And if it does, you've got some, some good stream material. Uh, you know what, we're gonna lay this down. Yeah, because the bottom of this wasn't touching the bottom of the ground like I thought. Hello! Setting up your moon ray. Uh. 
This pretty much says the same stuff that the other thing said. Attention, attention. The surfaces of your resin tray and drum are delicate. Use care when handling and cleaning. Be careful not to gouge or puncture the surfaces. Clean the surfaces using alcohol or water. Make sure resin tray, clear film, and drum are clean before assembling. This is the resin tank. Resin tank. Did they give me? Did they give me two of the same thing? Please don't tell me you gave me two resin tanks instead of... Okay, we're good. Alrighty. They just use, they just save uh, money. They don't need to individually label it. Don't, don't want to touch that glass surface because that's where all the uh, the lasers are shot through. The light is shot through using the uh, DLP, I think this uses. So we basically have sort of like, you know, those projectors that you have at in home theaters. That's what this is using to print in the 3D models. All right, we're gonna switch from Sukus to some to some I don't know heavy metal. Nah, it's just for me. I, I, in case I want to put this up on YouTube, I don't want to get flagged for copyright. So I'm keeping it real low. Here, I don't want to hit this with the knife. Oh man, she looks beautiful. So freaking awesome. Wow, holy crap, that is fucking awesome. This is, this is basically the best 3D printer on the market that you can buy. So, and then I drop it. <laughs> this is a two person thing. I, I don't wanna fuck anything up. It's heavy. Hmm. Let go. Let go, you bastard. <laughs> the old head maneuver did it. and protected oh shit that's heavier than I thought oh shit I don't know if this rinky dinky table can support this weight I should have got a bigger table. Fuck.
How y'all doing? Who, who subbed or donated or said hi? We had um. Butt wagon. Thank you, butt wagon. Eight months. Oh, nothing's popping up on the screen, huh? My bad. Let me uh, fix that. All right, so we'll start from from butt wagon. I gave thanks to St. Nicholas and Helvetica Bold earlier. Neo Sale at EX. Thank you, Neo Sale EX, for dance. Resubbing to me or subbing. Choda Boy, 65 for nine months. Thank you, Choda Boy. And uh, Omega Recon. Omega Recon. Hey, Joe, I saw a lot of good games this year. DBZ Fighters will be good since Xenoverse 2 was fair. Yeah. Even I would say Xenoverse 2 is pretty much just a copy of the first one. If you haven't bought Xenoverse 1, just start with that, Xenoverse 2, and you'd be good. And uh, Frankie Gonzalez, thank you, 90, uh, Frankie Gonzalez, 92. Uh, Gyro Knight. Thank you, Gyro Knight. Two months. Ardent 86. Salute to you, a brand new soldier. And you relatively new soldiers. Welcome to the Angry Army. Kinga 3. No, Kinga 132. 15 months. Just got home from work. Ex uh, excited for Joe streaming. Uh, Red Cloud. Thank you for the 100 bits. Love your show, Joe. Thank you. Sammy G117. 17 months. Thank you, Sammy G. And we got a brand new subscriber, Meaty Sasquatch. Gentlemen, we've got a lot of subscribers, so why don't we roll out them tanks? Roll the tanks. I want to see all the subs roll the tanks now in honor of all these guys. Meaty Sasquatch and Roxas777, 30 months. Wow. I'm feeling sorry for a miss on sub and I lost my streak on your YouTube after six plus years. On the other hand, you can sometimes do a video show in your studio and the people you work behind the scenes. Most of us don't know that much. It's all me, man. <laughs> all me. You see everything out there. Me and other Joe and Delrith. That's just the three of us. I get some special effects help every once in a while from my buddy Lashman. And, uh... Yeah, but I do all the editing. Joe is starting to do some of the Let's Play editing, so he's getting good at that. And Dalrith, as you know, takes care of the streaming when I'm gone. All right, let's connect this to the computer, but first, Yeah, I don't want to plug it in yet. <laughs> yeah, this table, this table is not level. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, maybe we should just 3D print on the ground. What do you guys suggest? Because uh, you can't you can't 3D print on a 
uneven fa un unevil, uneven surface. The table did nothing wrong. Yes, he did. Pull out. Pull out. Look at how flimsy this table is. Scaring me. Of course. Do I remove? I don't want to fuck anything up, so we're going to go slow. Set up your moon ray, download the software, add resin. I didn't put any, I didn't put any packing material in. Okay, well, pretty simple. Seems simple enough. I just have some extra packing material in here that I need to uh, chop up. Am I able to remove this? Clean platform before every print. Do not keep resin in tank more than seven days. Clean thoroughly each time the tank is emptied. Always keep cover on the machine when in use. I don't want to destroy any of these really delicate components. Aha. They are. They're just little squares. I thought they were one complete piece. Since they're not one complete piece, these just slide right out. I'm just being extra careful. So this is high quality equipment. Huh? That one's snagged. Some dentists use this in their dentist office for printing 
3D printing. Okay. Nice. Whew. I want to show you the innards. I want to see the innards. Can y'all see that? That's pretty cool. It looks like they've got the, the lens right there, which is gonna fire off the light and then reflects upward and creates the, the 3D print. I feel like I want to clean that mirror, but I don't know. Maybe not yet. <laughs> Okay, so this is the thing that needs to be cleaned thoroughly. Download the software, printing your model, prepare your model for 3D printing. Min Max, always wear gloves when working with the resin. Well, no, hold on. You didn't, you didn't show me how to attach the piece. Uh, here we are. Slide the resin tank into the base of the machine as shown. So I have an extra one of these, which I'm not sure. I'll set it aside. But how does this assemble? The surface of your resin tray and drum are delicate. Use care when handling and cleaning. Oh, it's an extra one, okay. And then 
then this is what for storage yeah I think that's just for storage and an extra one so mine is white while that one is black I don't know why mine's white. I've got a special edition. supposed to be a super tight fit yeah okay it's supposed it's just supposed to be a tight fit okay alrighty place the build platform on the print arm then lock it with the handle fuck is the build platform I mean is this why why does that piece have a black piece up top see they got it they got a black piece I don't have a black piece and that shit is black, but mine's white. Whatever. It's just a newer version, I'm gonna guess. Wait. Why is this build platform so, so low? I need that build platform to raise, and I can't get it to raise. I'm gonna pull out the tank and I'm gonna plug it in. Maybe when you, when you plug it in, it'll do some kind of first time setup and it'll raise that platform. Fuck, I need an outlet. I don't have an outlet. So many god dang cables and shit. So much shit! Oh no! On my cover. Fucking shit! I'm gonna unplug Joe's monitor. So this is Wi-Fi enabled. So this is a newer model or something. Yeah. Yes, the other one was like green and this one's red. The other one had like USB and Ethernet or USB and HDMI or something. This one has Ethernet. So this shit is Wi-Fi. Hopefully that doesn't make it harder, it makes it easier. Um, why isn't that platform raising? Connect the other end, you will be able to 
power on by pressing the power button in the front of the machine, which will flash repeatedly as the machine starts up. When your moon ray is ready to go, the light around the power button will change from flashing repeatedly to flash to fading in. Oh, it's not even on. This means your moon ray is to connect is ready to connect using rayware. Rayware will walk you through the connection steps, so you can begin printing. Well, first, let's turn it on. Pressing the power button, which will flash repeatedly as the machine is starting up. When your moon ray is ready to go, the light around the power button will change from flashing repeatedly to fading in and out slowly. Okay. While it does that, I'm going to go get the resin. Should be over here. Oh, is this three bottles? Great. What the fuck is going on over there? What happened? <laughs> huh? What happened over here? Okay. Uh, connect to your moon ray. You'll be able to power on. Uh, this means your moon ray is ready to connect using Rayware. Rayware will walk you through the connection series. Learn more about the connection options. Rayware. Okay, Rayware. Connection method, wireless or ethernet? Print via wireless network, recommended. recommended. Okay, cool, that's what we'll do. For most users, we recommend using the print via wireless connection. This allows you to print with Moonray over your preferred wireless network. Before you begin the connection process, make sure you have the password of your preferred wireless network ready. The software will walk you through the rest of the setup process that begins with connecting to your wireless network using the password SprintRay. You'll then You'll then enter your preferred wireless credentials. If Rayware cannot find your wireless network, try turning your moon ray off and on. Okay. Let's fire up the moon ray software, shall we? Okay. Manage printers, I'm gonna guess. Let's see, I'm gonna switch to a close-up camera here real quick, just in case it shows any sensitive information. No printers connected. Search for existing printer. Okay, add a new printer. Select the connection method, wireless. Connecting wirelessly. Oh, 
on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's not finding shit. I knew I knew the wireless thing was gonna was gonna uh, be an issue. I, I don't understand. Oh. So this, it wants me to disconnect from the internet? Disconnect from a wireless network? Well, if I do that, I have to stop streaming and then connect to a wire network that begins with Moonray and then use Sprint Ray password. So that would, yeah, there it is. Okay. We can use the ethernet method. Let's see if this cord is long enough. It is not. Not long enough. I might have another. I might have another ethernet cable around here somewhere. Give me a second guys. I've gotta have a long ass one. Okay, uh, where'd I put this shit? <sighs> when Luna was streaming over here in my house, I ran this huge, long cable. My router is over there in my room. Oh my god, so many fucking cables, wires, shit. So wireless benefit is, is obviously ideal, but because we're streaming, I can't get the wireless benefit yet. Might be able to set it up offline and then come back online, or it wants your computer to be exclusive to that wireless network. I don't know, but we'll just hook it up via Ethernet cable. This one's definitely long enough. This cable is long enough for me to go to my fucking neighbor's house. Okay. Which I could probably do with this wireless mic. <clears throat> but I don't want all this extra wires here. Hey guys, what's up? Oops. So, uh, Michael McAllister, Soul Sensei, Cheatbox X, your, your mama fat, your mama fat, one, two, three. Thank you, gentlemen, for subscribing and supporting us. This here is a review unit that I paid for half of it. Uh, so thank you to the people at Sprint Ray for partnering up with the Angry Joe Show. And we're going to get a lot of cool little prints and show you the world of 3D printing with pretty much the best 3D printer on the market. It's definitely an investment. It's not a cheap printer, 
but since I will be creating various board games like Mortal Kombat, the board, uh, the miniatures game, Street Fighter, the miniatures game, and Dragon Ball Z, the miniatures game, I only want the best. Now, I'm not going to be printing all the miniatures for the game from this thing and sending them to your house because our miniatures are going to be pre-painted. This is just for prototyping purposes. So that's why, how, how I got this unit from the folks at Sprint Ray. Thank you guys so much. And it's basically the finest detail that you can get on miniatures out there. That's why it's so expensive. It's certainly an investment, but in my opinion, it's worth it if it works right. Obviously, I haven't tried it yet. So hopefully it works right. So oh, I got the ethernet cable going. And we shall connect via ethernet cable. Whoop whoop, whoop whoop. You are ready to start printing, what? Oh shit, this is gonna be fun, y'all. Oh fuck, what do y'all wanna print first? This is crazy. Crazy. Let's add some models. Now, our models. Now, I'm having my guys uh, still work on the models, you know? Uh, so the only thing I have is really old stuff that I wasn't happy with, you know. I, I want this game to the, be the best it possibly can be. And so I kind of scrapped a lot of our old models because I didn't think they were good enough. Uh, I could show you some miniatures. Oh, it's only looking for the specific files. Let me show you over here. DBZ, DBZ. So I kind of, you know, I'm just figuring out what models I like, what poses I like. And here's what I chose for uh, Napa. Napa. Doesn't Napa look good? Look at that shit, huh? <laughs> what do y'all think? What do y'all think? This is the first time I'm showing this off, I think. That look good? Damn, that would look good. I wanted the scouter to be, you know, accurate. So he's got to get it accurate. So I was like, you got to do it. So I bought an account to Funimation so that, you know, we can go through the animation. We got the scouter there, and I noticed this scouter sort of sort of a, a bluish purple hue. So threw it right up there. So we got that going for us. Uh, and then here is Raditz. But I'm I'm thinking that Raditz's hair is too poofy. Do you guys agree with me? I'm telling my, my sculptor that his hair is too poofy. We need to make his hair a little less poofy and, and more like this. What do you think? You agree his hair is a little too poofy? Yes, too poofy, says Green Galore. I like the poof. Looks good, it's good. See, I'm, I'm anal about this stuff, you know? I, I want it to be perfect. Mistress says too poofy. Yeah, too poofy. All right, well, well, we'll work on that. What I really wanted for the pose is I want to get this pose. And I, in fact, I think I got that pose. Uh, Y'all want to see? Well, we, we couldn't do that pose, obviously, because he's flying in the fucking air. And I'm not sure if I want the little sticks. You know, we could go clear plastic sticks, but that's super expensive and super difficult for our manufacturer. So I had to just think of this as inspired by we were inspired by that particular image and then let me show you what we got out of that image one of my sculptor's name is Hector I really love him he's really good Hector Hector 
He's really, really good. Let me show y'all guys. Ah. Huh? Inspired by. Couldn't get it exact because he's a flying pose. But what do you think? Hmm? Let me just see what you guys, what your reactions are. Damn, that looks great. Wow, nice. Dope, dope. Damn, son. Super Saiyan, dude. <laughs> so you should be extra critical. Yeah? Too poofy? Yeah, no, I got you. That's why I told him. I told him the hair, a little too poofy here. And I'm worried that if his hair is too poofy, that the model is going to fall over. You know what I'm saying? So, it's not too much purple because uh, the purple is his double Sunday, motherfuckers. Get your lore right. Oh, what? I have a double Sunday, boy. So, all right. Don't worry. I'll make this shit accurate. I have to live up to the DBZ name. Now, I don't think I can 3D print that one. Just because it's so elaborate and we got like, you know, clear plastic. So we're going to have to go with some of our older models. There's some older models. Some older STL files. So we're getting slowly better and better uh, with our sculpting. And I only want the best for y'all. Thank you, Pazzi for five months and 10 Tyru for four, uh, four minutes ago with your prime. Thank you very much. I'd say print my face, but that would break the printer. Mistress, what is you? What do you look like again? Send me a picture, mistress. I'm gonna see you. I don't think you'd, I don't think you'd break the printer. All right, here we go. Um, let's actually get back on task here. So, uh, Wait, nope, that's the wrong thing. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got some very old ones. I just threw this in a, in a folder here, some old ones. What do you guys want to want to pick? Well, I've got a Chun-Li already. I printed uh, this Chun-Li. This was printed on this 3D printer, but not this exact one. The actual folks at uh, Sprint Bray printed this one for me. And, uh, and then I had uh, one, of my, one of my girls print it, or paint it, rather. So we already got uh, everybody wants Scorpion. Nah, the Scorpion one is too old. He's not, you know. I wanna. He doesn't look good. Well, I'll get. I'll get. I'll see what you guys think. Let's do Scorpion. He's too old. This is too basic. See, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I want my scorpion to be like, I don't know. He's gotta be throwing the spear. What do you think? The scorpion have to throw a spear? Just a test. He's fine. Yeah. See, yeah. I, I think that when we when we get our final scorpion, everybody agrees he's got to be in mid spear throw. Problem is, the spear can easily snap off, right? We don't want the the spear to snap off. So because this is our our first because this is our first test print, we need something super simple. So I'm actually going to go with the Ryu. Because I know my Ryu is pretty basic. 
Pete, what the hell are you doing, man? You need to get up over here in Austin. I know you're heading on over here, what, tomorrow? Saddle up, AJSA. Pete, 22 months. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get a basic Ryu printed. Because I'm testing Chun Li and Ryu right now. Check out this monster I bought. This is not sponsored by Monster, by the way. But if Monster wants to sponsor me, I'll, I'll take a I'll take a sponsorship. But look at what I bought uh, at the gas station. Isn't that cool? It's like a. It's one of those cans, but it's clear and it's plastic. It's called Monster Hydro. Don't be a D ho, punk. Remember that joke we used to do? Don't be a deho. Don't get caught being dehydrated when I was going on that water kick and I was trying to find all the best waters. Don't be a deho. So I don't know if it tastes any good. Let me taste it. <laughs> Smells like uh, that stinginess. Like uh, socks. Dirty socks. Tropical Thunder flavor. So I expected it to be more water, water flavor. But it's actually not. It's more juicy. It's more like juice. 100 calories and 23 grams of sugar? Fuck. Hydro. Way to get a sponsor. I haven't. I'm not sponsored by them, but if they want to sponsor me, five hundred dollar. Okay, let's pick our uh, print and let's get it done. Let's try Ryu. Holy shit balls. He is massive. I don't know what, what do I do with the scaling. I don't want to print it too massive. So for the longest time we were trying to determine how big we want our models to be in the game. Oh, hold on. Let me thank you. Let me thank you, Cyber Gorilla. Appreciate that. And Michael CZ78. Thank you guys, both of you gentlemen, for subbing to the show using your... I feel honored that you use your Twitch Prime sub on me. Anyways, uh, what did I say? I said, um, so for the longest time I was trying to figure out how big to make the models. Uh, we wanted to, at first we were thinking Amiibo size. Well first we started off with, you know, hero clicks sized. And we were going progressively up and up from there. Let me kind of show you the different sizes because we need to figure out the size we want before we hit that print button so here oh wait so that model I showed you has actually not been printed with the <coughs> with the moon ray my bad I have one over here that's printed with the moon ray still just as good Okay, so these <clears throat> so these two were printed using some industrial 3D printer. These two are using an industrial 3D printer. Guess how much these two cost me? Not the paint job. The paint job, I think, was like, I don't know, 20, 40 bucks from our girl at Wonko's. Um, Y'all know Erica. She painted these. But um, how much do you think these are? How much do you think I paid for those prototypes? Take a guess, chat. 150 each? 75 bucks each? Nope. 
$170, nope. $400, nope. $300 each, nope. Go higher. $400 each, yep. $400 each, fiddler. So it costs $800 to get these done. And I'm not gonna say who did them for us, but I was like, what the f What the f fuck? Are you, what the f fuck? Right? But I thought, okay, you know, they're prototypes, we'll just get them done. So now you know why I went with a 3D printer for my prototypes. Because if it's gonna cost me $800 for two miniatures, and I got something like 70 miniatures here to print, I gotta do my own, right? So then, I went out and these are printed with the moon ray, but I went in a smaller scale size because, uh, and they're not painted, so they don't look as impressive, but trust me, the detail is almost as good. Um, but, uh, so I went with a, I, I was trying the different scales, right? So here is hero click sized, you know, and I thought hero click sized is a little too small. What I love about the hero clicks models is the special effects, because that kind of makes it a little more dynamic. So I like that. And these are some DBZs, some DBZs. Vegeta. Now remember, Vegeta is extra short. I don't know if you guys know, he's really really short. But see, this is the stick. Uh, model I was telling you about that you got to put a stick up Vegeta's butt in order to get him to fly like that and I'm not sure if we want to do that in our game because if you notice he's pretty flimsy if we do a stick and these sticks are probably gonna break a lot and then people are gonna be mad at us so what do you think do we have to stay away from sticks I'm thinking we have to stay away from sticks so because I have a Chun-Li you know, there's, uh, here's Angry Joe. Um, hold on, I'm not seeing your responses to stick or no stick. I have to get another, I wanted to show you something. Here it is. Okay. So. It's all about scale. What is the right scale to print at? That's what we're trying to figure out before we print. So. Here was the old size. Here's bison. This is our bison. And here's some 3D terrain. So I intended for our game to have some 3D terrain, right? And we look, the 3D terrain kind of in scale with the Heroclix. Actually, nah. 3D terrain is not really in scale with the Heroclix. So I thought, hero clicks, you know what? It's too small. Too small for that detail. Look, you get real close, his eyes are painted on his forehead, the paint job is just real bad. And so so I said, okay, hero click scale is out. And that's what? 28 millimeter, 25 millimeter, something like that. So then I wanted a larger millimeter. And I think this is about 48. This is another industrial size printer that we printed this guy out on. And so he's in he's in scale with the with the terrain. So that's that's good. But this is Mutant Chronicles made by uh, Fantasy Flight. It was a pre-painted miniatures game that did not survive for very long. It, in fact, it kind of died as soon as it came out. And this I I uh, measured at about 58 millimeters so if this is sort of 45 millimeters I think 45 48 this is about 54 millimeters so I was like okay well you know that's a good size but then 
Everybody knows about amiibos, right? And amiibos sell like crazy. And if... Um, where's my amiibos? I have a Ryu amiibo. Fuck. Can't find him. Where is he? Bastard. So, the thing about amiibos is retail stores love to sell amiibos because it's a nice little plastic window and you can see the miniature, you can see the amiibo, you can see the pre-paint job that you're getting. Here's Star Fox. I can't find my, my Ryu. So I was thinking, okay, we can go amiibo sized, right? But that's what we that's what we did over here with this Ryu. Except for he's actually a little taller than amiibo size. So then we said, this is too much. Because look what it does with our terrain. <laughs> it's way out of scale. It doesn't look right. So that scale is out. Amiibos are smaller is what we're thinking. So then that's why we have these two scales. What you have here is 85 millimeter and 65 millimeter. So I'm thinking 65 millimeter is the way to go. If you go with this, it's more collectors, but imagine our tree terrain. We have trees, a cherry blossom tree in Japan on reuse map. We got some 3D terrain. And if you see this model up next to a tree, it's too tall. It's way too fucking tall. So here's a tree from Crossmasters. And then just a little crappy prototype tree from Cherry Blossom from our game. It's the 3D version that I cut. But we'll just ignore the 3D version for now. Right? So, She's too tall. This one's too tall for that, right? What do you think? I'm thinking that we should go with 65 millimeter. It's between these two, guys. Between these two. There's some more terrain, some rockets, Cobra, G.I. Joe rockets. 65 or 85? All right, well, we're gonna have to do a straw pull then. I'm gonna do a straw pull. Go ahead and vote in this poll real quick. I'm gonna spam the hell out of chat. And you guys can vote. Whoo! So, you know, looks like 65 millimeters crushing it. And that's cool because you get the detail you get the detail out of the bigger miniature um, at 65. Obviously, we're bigger than Heraclix, bigger than the other competitors and things like that. But you don't go too big to where it looks ridiculous uh, in scale with terrain. If we go 3D terrain, which, you know, I'd like to make that a, a big feature. And so even at the 65 millimeter size, you are still a little bit out of scale with the terrain, but at least it looks good and you can kind of use the super deformed excuse or whatever, but we're not going with super deformed. We're going with real proportions. Super deformed would be like, you know, their heads all really big and stuff. Okay, good. I'm glad to see you guys agree that uh, smaller size is good. Also, some of you are saying that the smaller size is a little bit better cost. 
Yes and no. Um, it's more the sculpt that where a lot of the cost is, and then the plastic relatively, it's not going to cost that much more per unit. But I'll get the I'll get the costs per unit for both of them, just for his, historic sake. When I tell the story of making the game, uh, but I think 65 millimeter is the way we're going to go. Thank you for the sub. Red Hine and X Bob Twinkle Toes and the cheer from Michael's. All right, so now we know our scale, right? So let's go into the program. And what are we at? How do I rescale this bad boy? Ah, size. X, Y, Z. What are we at? 100? 100 millimeter? We want 65 millimeter. There. Close enough, right? So I can actually put two models, but I think one model is fine. Wait, what is this Z? I don't know if this is even the correct way to do this, honestly. So I've never used this because like, you've got this scale here, right? 54, 64, 75. Now scale is messing with all those. We don't want that. Rotation. Position. I don't even really know how to use this program. Add your model. Explore your options. Size and scale. Z is for tallness. That's what I'm thinking too. Position. You can move your model by dragging it. Duplication. Density and strength. These option controls the density and strength of your model support structure. If you're unsure about these options, leave them at the default setting and see how you like the results on the finished print. This flat model does not need supports, but Rayware will allow you to generate supports for anyone. When you're ready to print your model, well, I need to see the supports. What do the supports look like? And is it better to have it print from that side? I got a movie to go to at 6.45. Oh, sweet. Sprint Ray saw my tweet. They may be watching. Sprint Ray in here? <laughs> Sign up for an account and tell me what I'm doing. Machine resolution, S100, D75. What, um, I'm gonna assume is S100. Model, generate supports, that's what I want. Density, medium, recommended, medium. Automatic support generation. Create your own support structure. Printing without supports. Oh, hell no. Uh, Rayware uses an intelligent support generation a logarithm to add the minimum amount of supports to your model, conserving materials as you print. In Rayware, you can generate supports and remove them easily so you can experiment. Gives you two options for generating the support structure. Generate. Generate support. This application has requested the runtime to terminate in an unusual way. No! Is it because I'm using OBS?
Is it because I rescaled him? Maybe I shouldn't rescale. I can. Oh, it's working this time. Sweet. So sweet. So there is the supports. Now, is Ray. Is Sprint Ray in chat? Should I flip this model upside down? No. You don't need supports? See, that's too much cutting. I'm going to have to, like, cut the hell out of that stuff at the bottom. I wonder if that is... Stizor, how do you know that? You're not... Are you, are you Moonry? Remove support. Here, why don't I flip this bad boy around? How do I pick him up? No support. Let's see what happens. Fuck you guys. I want to know what is the best way to do it. You don't need Zabor, you don't need... You guys, you guys are fucking lying to me because when when Sprint Ray did it themselves, the chun Lees that came over, they had a bunch of support on them. So, you guys are wrong. I don't need the raft, is what I'm at. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clear it. I'm gonna get add model. I'm gonna go Ryu. I'm going to rescale him. Okay. And then we'll do the supports. Fuck. Okay. Now, I would like to just go ahead and click on these and just remove some of these supports one at a time. You know what I'm saying?
Drag the slider to L in the support menu. Oh, that's a good idea. We could try low support. Let's remove that. Let's go low support. Hmm. It always crashes the first time, but then when we do it again, it works fine. Windows 10? Maybe. I don't know when they've upgraded their, their software here. No, it's not affecting the bottom of the goddamn model. What I need to do is remove the base. You know what I'm saying? Just remove the base. I, I want enough support because I don't want his arms to droop or anything. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, just do it with medium support. We'll see how long this takes to to do. I'll just cut through it. It's gonna be a bitch to cut through, but whatever. Let's see this thing print. Somebody in chat is like, "Don't print indoors, you'll die." <laughs> I don't think so. That shit. There would be warning labels all over the fucking. Um, I'll open the windows though just in case. Uh lost my train of thought. Yeah, didn't the program say you can use your own custom support? I saw that, right? I saw that and I want to just do that. Uh, yeah, in the future, I'm going to get rid of the base, but I'm, I would have to ask my 3D modelers to get rid of that base, and I'm not sure they're they're online or around, or they could do it that fast, you know. So you won't die, but it'll give you cancer. I doubt it. You need to finish b building the printer first. That's right. So now the, the, the that technically does. You know what I'm saying? My first print is going to be fucking a total failure, dude. Total failure. All right. Let's check out the menu here.
Place the build platform under the print arm, then lock it with the handle. Add the resin. Shake the bottle gently before using resin. Add, re add resin. Simply pour it in the tank carefully. Be mindful of the minimum and maximum fill lines. Oh shit, my audio is about to go out. Let me get some new batteries on my wireless mic. All right, we have orange resin. We have gray resin. Two grays and one orange. What do you guys want to use? Gray, save the orange for the real deal. Gray, 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 gray. Yeah. All right, we'll do gray. You know what? We need to find out how long it takes to print. Because if I've got a movie in one hour, I don't want to leave the machine running while I'm not here. Two and a half hours. You guys just <coughs> taking wild guesses or what? You'll call me if something goes wrong? Sure. Fast printing. One inch an hour. There it is. So usually 3D prints take a fuck ton of time. This one is one inch an hour. And these things are what, about three and a half inches? So probably about three and a half hours, four hours. This is probably, this is what, three and a half inches? So that'll probably take three and a half hours, four hours. This one is like what, three inches maybe? Three and a half, three. So it'll probably take three hours. So yeah, I'm actually gonna do this later. Sorry to tease you guys, but at least we got everything set up. So I'll do it when we get back from the movies. I'll definitely be doing it tonight. But I don't want to burn my house down. <laughs> You're not going to burn your house down, but I just want to make sure that everything's good.
Safety first. I guess I could leave it running while I'm gone and you guys can text me if something goes wrong. Or I can watch the stream too from my theater seat. <laughs> We'll do it tonight when I get back. It's only what two two hour movie. <sighs> Alright guys. Cool. So we got the thing uh uh set up. I gotta say, setup is extremely easy. Now obviously I drug this thing out talking to you guys and stuff been streaming for like an hour and a half but you could throw this thing up in 20 minutes 30 minutes max so everything's already assembled you don't need to put anything together except for the the actual tray and and then screw in the top you're good to go so really impressed with it so far but obviously i haven't printed anything yet and that is the most uh, essential thing so we will do some printing tonight and hopefully it comes out well uh, you know, since it's my first print, I'm pretty sure we're going to fail on the first one. Uh, the thing about 3D printing is it's a process. You learn, you move on, you learn, you learn, and then once you kind of get used to it, you know how to set up your models in the future. But who knows? We might get a perfect print the first time. All right, guys. See you guys uh, after I get back from the Transformers movie tonight. Uh, so the movie's going to start about 6.45, 6.45, 7.45, 8.45 probably is when... Probably about over, and then I'll record a review for that with other Joe and Beard. And um, so then I'll probably be back on about 9 or 10. 9 or 10. And then if a print takes, let's say, 3 to 4 hours, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 in the morning. 1 or 2 in the morning is when it'll be done. I'm usually trying to go to bed earlier these days, but for this, I'll stay up. I'm, what I'm really curious is whether this is going to stink up my house or not. <laughs> so I kind of want to sniff this resin. Store in a cool, dry place. Keep closed when not in use. Wash skin after contact. Avoid breathing resin vapors. Never mind. Avoid... <laughs> Well, you can't see it. Avoid breathing resin vapors. Keep out of children. Never mix with other resins. Do not put in drain. Shake well before use. I was thinking about smelling it just to see if it's a good idea to stink up my house. Here, let's, let's at least do that. Let's open it right here and see if it's just too powerful to where I have to set up in the garage or something. Where's my knife? Keep it out of the sunlight. Keep it out. Uh, keep it away from. So there's a cap on it. I don't smell shit. Well, it can't be that bad if I don't smell it at all. Wash skin after contact. I think I got a little bit on me. Should have wore those gloves.
Seems pretty harmless. No smell. No nothing. So I think I should be all right doing it in here. I'll send out, I'll send an email to uh, Sprint Ray just to see what they think. All right, guys, I'll see you in about two hours. I will see you in two hours, and then we'll do the print together. Bye, guys. See ya.